Hi everybody, in this issue I'll show you a little bit about the interface of the QGIS GIS desktop. And QGIS has a nice graphical interface and it's able to integrate a lot of other open source uh, software solutions like Grass, GDAL, Saga and others. Um, and for example, programming languages like uh, Python, R and others. And the, the GUI is uh, really customizable. It's uh, divided in the, um, some uh, main component. The, the, the first one is the menu bar. After that, you will find the toolbar, which is an, uh, an area where um, tools can define their icon to activate, deactivate, and do, do things. After that, we uh, on the on the left here we can see some uh, panels that uh, may be arranged or detached from the screen it may be arranged on the left side on the right side on the on the bottom and uh, so on the main view is the map view obviously and uh, after that we have an important one which is the status bar which uh, contains some um, some tools very interesting uh, for instance, the coordinate viewer or the extents viewer. Uh, if you if you click the small button, you can change the scale of the map. So you can uh, zoom out, zoom in. Also, you can use the the wheel of the mouse. Uh, we have a magnifier that uh, zoom in and. and out the, the view without changing scale we can lock the the scale and just zoom using the magnifier we can rotate the whole map we can enable or disable the rendering and we can this is really really important we can change the reference of the, the map Currently is set to EPSG 3857, uh, and it's the pseudo Mercator um, that allows us to to view the whole world and to load uh, maps like the Earthry Ocean, the Google Maps, and others. Uh, as you can see here on the left, you have the browser that uh, um, allows you uh, to browse the things you have in your PC, but also you can add data from Specialized, from Jet Package, from Postgre, from HANA, and other um, really uh, useful uh, things. One really nice is the WMS and the XYZ tiles layer which can allow us to load data from Cart2DB, from a lot of things from Esri, uh, Google, Mapzen, Mapbox and so on. The layers um, panel is uh, the one that allows you to arrange, to uh, switch on and off uh, things and uh, it's uh, uh, it al also allows you to uh, view attributes like uh, for this uh, layer called punti sparsi uh, we have an id for each of these points you see in yellow on the map also you can arrange the order so now we have Google Maps above all everything. If you switch it down, if I switch it down, you can see the base layer now is the Esri Ocean and Punti Sparsi is on top of that. Uh, one of the really useful uh, tools uh, in QGIS is the uh, identify features 
button which is an eye with a uh, uh, with an arrow with a cursor so if you if you draw or just click a feature on the on the map you can see all of uh, the attributes which are defined also you can click view feature form i don't know where it is oh, okay and it show you a form for the attributes in the identified feature another really useful thing is the measurement uh, tool which allows you to measure lines area bearings and angles and uh, obviously this is a very uh, easy and uh, uh, simple introduction for the interface so QGIS we will show uh, I will show you uh, how to load data how to define projects how to edit vector data in the next uh, issues so for now it's everything remember to uh, click like the like button to subscribe and to comment if you like thank you very much goodbye